out of there. We're on our way to Raleigh, North Carolina today for a monster muscle car rescue. I'm excited. There's 50 of them there. We're talking Camaros, Firebirds, Trans Ams, GTOs, 442s, and you're absolutely not gonna believe where these have been sitting and stored. Some of them since 1980. Yes, there's some Holy Grail stuff there. Yes, there is. So, you're gonna need more than a cup of joe to go with us today. You're gonna need a whole pot of coffee, so here we go. North Carolina. And that's all we're going to say. Beep, beep, we got a Jeep. They tried to give us a Tahoe again, but no. What do we get, Alex? A Jeep. Sahara JL. Here we go. So we're in somewhere in North Carolina. We're not going to tell you where. The address on Expedia was wrong. The address on Google was wrong. But the address on Waze was correct, right? Two different Waze's. So it was a good thing there's three of us in the car. Yeah. We made it to the hotel. We flew in. How are your arms? Fantastic. So everybody's been wondering, did you get the report from your doctor? I did. You know what they said? What? I have too much lead in my right foot. Boom. And that is why he's not driving. We'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, team. Morning. Morning. So, 50 cars in the field of dreams. Is that what we're calling this episode? Field of dreams? I like that. No, it. It, it might be field of dreams. It is for me. Okay. It's literally a monster muscle car find. Super rare muscle cars. They have been sitting in this field since 1980. The story is absolutely amazing. I'll probably let one of the family members tell it, but just a quick entry of what's going on. The guy knew muscle cars really well. He bought one about every, between three and six months of his life, drove it, and then drove it to the family farm and parked it and bought another one, drove it three to six months, drove it back out and parked it. We're talking Camaros, GTOs, 442s, Chevelles, the right stuff too, big block cars. There's even a Holy Grail Camaro there, but we'll leave that for the next five minutes. So. James and Sean drove the big rigs in. Alex flew with us because as you know, he's got a lead foot, so he had to fly. <laughs> lead foot, meaning he has a speeding ticket somewhere? Nah, kind of. Well, thanks, Sean, for telling the viewers what that means. We've been waiting for the last three days. So grab your pot of coffee, not your cup of joe, and let's go. So Jake, you've been working on these, what we just went through for weeks just to get back here, right? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we had a skid steer come in here and with a mulcher and blaze a bunch of things down and uh, 
So yeah, it definitely uh, it's been a work in progress, but uh, we can at least get to them now. So well, I don't. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll I'm, see. I'm glad you have confidence in our yeah. drivers, but yeah, great these crew, two guys right? are. Yeah. James is ringing his hands already. Yeah. <laughs> hands are clammy, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, let's let's look and see what we're looking at real quick to see if we can even get back here. So right. here's my question: Once we get in, how do how we do get, we get out? out? Well, so I got a circle coming back out. Okay. So we're right up here. Yeah. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> Hmm. Is, is the skid steer still out here? No, no, no. Okay. Well, there's one out here, but it doesn't work. I'm sorry, there might be a couple out here. Yeah. There's the Trans Am. Nice. Oh my god, it's buried. <laughs> is that a GTO or a Lamaze Vesta? No, it's a GTO. Really? Yeah, it's a 70. Wow. You know me, Sean. I'm What's not leaning about that fan's hand. Um, <laughs> wow. Hmm. There's little trees. Yeah, it's been there for a while. Wow. You, you have a Most chainsaw, chainsaw, don't you? Good deal. Yeah, we've got one. James, we should have brought our saws. Yes, sir, we should have. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> Does anybody have a chainsaw? <laughs> yeah, we brought one. Okay. Mm -hmm. We may have outdone ourselves on this one. No. So, wow. are you picking up one car today? No. Oh. <laughs> All right. We, we could fit five on the trailer or six <laughs> if, we, if we try really hard. No, actually, seven if we try really hard, Sean. You have a How hard do you want to try? Yeah, four would be nice. Yeah. Wow. Do the doors open? Um, I've sprayed them down, you know, have a side. That would be a no. Maybe for the doors, yeah. Hmm. This one is the most buried of the ones that we talked about. So, James, how about baptism by fire? Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> um, this looks like a good time. <laughs> wow. I'm actually speechless. Sean is speechless. Well, you can't leave. I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to let you. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. Might as well get the GTO out too while we're at it. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. Well, once the, once the, the Pontiac's out, the other Pontiac will go with it. Right. Hmm. Is that an El Camino over there too? That's what I was looking at. Yeah, yeah. so that's a 68. That's El had Camino. my attention since we walked into the street. Wow. Street. That should be the first one. Okay, do. well let's go look at some other stuff. That one's going to be difficult. <laughs> 71 Trans Am that has been sitting right there since 1980. Do you think anybody'd find it? Let's just look up. I would say no. Look at the cow. So this is a 68 El Camino. Um, Dad actually drove this in the early 90s. So uh, me and Dax used to go to school in this. And, now uh, what year did this come in camo? Yeah, right. Uh, that's a 2021 well, edition. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that looks like a lot of patina camo. Going on so you there. said you last drove this in 1990? It was early 90s. Okay. Um, wow, that one's getting a bugger to get out there. Actually, the inspection sticker went out in 96. So, uh -huh. so it hadn't been so, too long. Yeah, so you know, we spent some time in this one. Um, 327 car. So all original. Keystones. It's cool. Yeah. It's on blocks. Yeah. Original <laughs> patina. Yeah. It's not Ooh. covered, right, Dennis? So all we got to get this one out, we just have to move the mobile home. Um, if, you're willing, <laughs> maybe a boat. if you're willing, absolutely. Yeah, or maybe a boat as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anniversary Trans Am. Yeah. Yep. Get the door open up. There's a tree grew around this one. Got it. Hmm. Thank God we're not taking that one. Wow. And yeah, we've got the hood and the uh, front ends around here somewhere. <laughs> Grew so yeah, this is the uh, the Oldsmobile motor. This one, yeah, from 403 the, automatic. Yeah, from the paper. Uh, we're through, right? through it. Yeah, well, so was it wrecked? I'm not sure we'll see one of those out here. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it was, uh, it was a project that he had bought and taken apart already. And, and here oh, I just got some cool stuff. Right so, so far, our 71 Trans Am, yeah, like 68 El Camino <laughs> with 327 Keystones, <laughs> 79 <laughs> anniversary <laughs> Trans Am. <laughs> We got a 67 Cutlass right here. So, uh, story of this one, Dad used to drive this one, um, you know, before me and Dex were born. And uh, 
one night he had cracked us in a couple uh, 24 ounce Budweiser's and got away from them. He backed it into a bank. It's not torn up too bad, but uh, like I said, bad tires and rain going too fast. So you guys were around in the 70s, but uh, I guess that was a normal thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it was legal then. You didn't yeah. have to wear a seatbelt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you could throw the kids in the back of the truck. It wasn't a problem. If one of them fell out, you just put a band-aid on them. No, this is an older one. This is um, you know, probably like a 79, 80. This is where we need the small tip. Yeah, it's 79, 80. Yeah, the chip. I don't know if that's, that one's worth the effort. No. Sean, you need another project, don't you? No. We've got a few more of those out here. <laughs> I'm good on projects right now. 67, 442 convertible. Okay. In there forever. Wow. Okay. 67 442 convertible. Then, That's uh, a possibility. 76 Trans Am. Yeah, so this one's pretty complete. That's what it looked like it'd be too difficult to get out. Yeah. Wow. Think it'll turn over? Get some two stroke oil, man. It's like fire right off. Turn on the battery. Get some ATF. Get some ATF. Get some ATF. 76. 76. 400. The door won't open. None of the doors will open. Did y'all glue them all shut? Or? I know, right? <laughs> so, I mean, literally, all the doors are. Rustification. That one open, James? Pretty sure it's a four speed, okay. not the first sister. Well, it's full of pine needles, so I do I kind of like that. <laughs> and this thing's probably full of dirt. That one won't be hard to get out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll get back to that. Look, I get drove in here. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it actually came with another car as well, so there's another 76. Uh, are the keys, are the keys in one. these cars? Some of them they are. I have a big stack of keys as well. Yeah, yeah, I've got a folder full of paperwork. Yeah, the front end. Yeah, it's a front end from a flip right? 70 or 70. 70. Looks yeah. like a 70. It's front end. There's a 71 out here, right, Jay? There's got to yeah, be one. Uh, actually, a 73. Um, it's right over the blind. Eight lug nice. wheels on the Grand Prix. Yeah, so this is a 66 Bonneville 421 okay. tri power car. Cool. Um, so I went through and uh, you know read the tag on it, and uh, man, this thing is awesome and like crazy. Oh, this is the four door you're talking about. Yeah, it's four door, but the door does open on this one. I got it open the other day. So 66 421 tri power eight lug wheels. Right. So this would have been a moonshine running car. Power windows, power door locks. Yeah, it's power everything. Power antenna. Eight track. Wow. Tilt steering column. And look at the seats, like AC. they have these little designs in the seats. I mean, I'm Crazy. pretty sure that's all factory. Got the embroidery back here in the back seat, the Pontiac logo in the middle. That is really cool. So I'm going with your dad like trees. See what? That was expensive. North yeah. Carolina like Really trees. expensive <laughs> car back in the day. Yeah. Motor's still in it? Oh yeah, twice. it's all, it's complete. Oh, you can pop the hood, I got to pop the hood. What cool is that, Sean? That is rad. 421 tri power. We, we gotta get the hood open again. I heard that before. Okay. <laughs> wow. How cool is that? Wow. I thought this was really option. Oh, awesome too. We got the emblem right there. AC power steering, power brakes, 421 tri power, tilt wheel. God, that was an expensive car back in that. Yeah, when you look at the data tag, I mean, the option codes go into the second. There's about eight option codes on there. Wow. 
That I think this might be a pretty cool. pretty rare car. I mean, it, it being a four door, but having it basically looks like someone checked all the boxes off when they ordered this thing. I think it is a crazy rare piece of car. I can't see right there. It's got yeah. cruise control too. And the hood weighs about two hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be cost prohibitive to restore that. And then you have too too many doors. Yeah, true. <laughs> but hey, people got big families. GTO. There we go. Yeah. So this is a 70 you sent me pictures of? Yeah, this is a 70. The other 70. This is an automatic. Is it? Yeah, this is automatic. Wow. It's like original paint. 74, 75? I think so. Yeah. So Sean, he sent me pictures of this. This is one of, of the 10 cars he sent me pictures of, of everything out here. I ran the vent on it. This car was built in Arlington. No way. And sold new in Kerrville, Texas. Really? Wow. Yes, yeah, wow, so this is a awesome. Texas car. That's awesome. So it's probably solid, I would imagine. I bet it was a soldier in the back. Got yeah, that, that's, the back. you're right. That's generally what it was. Inspection stickers, but you can't read it. And let's see if the door will open. No. It is locked. Okay, yeah, so this was locked. a three-speed car from the factory. Yep. Because I ran the numbers, but now it's got an automatic in it. So it's a three-speed manual, which is okay. not desirable. But yeah. <laughs> Looks straight. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So far, I, I like remember uh, when he bought this one, you know, I was a kid, and driving through town and he would you know see muscle cars and things in people's backyards and go door knocking and you know they might not sell until that time he'd come back and come back sometimes it make might be a few months might be a few years but he ended up with a lot of them that's for sure he, that he sure way. did he bought some neat stuff yeah that doesn't look too difficult the black trans am doesn't look too difficult the 71 is going to be yeah yeah we have to get a helicopter for that i love that Four-door. That's that's crazy. Wow. You want to go to the pace car next, or you want to go to the um, Chevelle? Let's look the at the. Let's look at the Chevelle. Okay. And you never sold anything out of here. Been saving them for you, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank <laughs> Perfect you. Perfect buyer. I appreciate yeah. that. But uh, so we got a '69 Camaro body here. You know, it has some rust around the quarters, but I mean, not terrible by any means. Well, the data tag's missing, but it does have the, I don't know. Where is the, uh, the car this hood goes on? We don't Ooh. have, don't have that. You don't have it? No. How much do you want for the hood? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to hang it on the wall. Yeah. What was it, Roadrunner? Cuda. 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 Okay. What year? Uh, 70 to 74. Okay, cool. Neat hood. Yeah. See the Cuda hood over there, Sean? Yeah. On top of the Camaro. All right. So we've got a 69 442. Um, low mileage. You know, it was wrecked in the quarter, but not too terribly bad. But you know, that's an all original car not in terrible shape at all. Definitely a good restorable car. They have all the paperwork for this one as well. Automatic. You had no rhyme or reason on how to park? Well, yeah. some stuff got shuffled around, you know, throughout the years. And so this was probably was there at one point. It was. And you know, it also scrapped a lot of cars over the years. I think it got moved in. And then the timber. So this was vinyl top, yep. right? He's gone. You can tell from all the rust and rot and trim. You could actually order a painted roof with the trim, but it's crazy rare to get that. It was really? probably vinyl top car. So we just peeled it off. Hmm. Well, it looks like a pretty straight old car. Yeah. And I'm going to say it's probably a California car. Why? Up red on the back. <laughs> 
You got bubble guards in the front? No. Jake, when you buy this, will we? No motor. She's empty. Wow. You had to find a flaw. <laughs> no, I'm. I like it. You, put a you probably right got a big box Chevrolet sitting in your shop anyway, Sean. I got a 396. That's a big box Chevrolet. Yeah. Hmm. Some new 632 in it. Could do that. 442 is not bad. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so I like a challenge, Jake, but this is <laughs> this is hey, a Dad, challenge. This is beyond a challenge, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a road kind of cut in here, so this is where we're parked over here. So that's kind of the main road that we had cut in yeah. there. We need a skid steer in the bag kind of way. Yeah, we do. The tractor. Do you have a tractor out here? Nope. No tractor? No. Nope. Uh, we need the single car. That uh, is going to be one of the first things on the list. Our tow truck for our cape. <laughs> yeah. Anybody's got a cape? <laughs> we got a Jeep. That's not a cape, and that's a rental. Even better, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> well, that's what we decided to do. That'll be fun to get out. <laughs> About 65 cool. split window. Cool surprise. Yeah. Ooh, right there. No motor, uh, the transaxle's going up. 10 windows? Dude, we bought a lot of these. We've gotten out of some really bad situations. Like this one? <laughs> yeah. 12 windows. The, the M tag's here, Alex. It is? Yep. Cool. Which is the tag here that shows all the options and the VIN number. Wow. <laughs> you can see the ground. It's a little rusty. So this thing's probably been to a few Grateful Dead concerts this day. Yeah. <clears throat> Guarantee that's been to a Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> that one looks like it wouldn't be that difficult to get to move. No, I mean, we've got kind of the circle cut in through there, so we just have to move some of this you know, bumper covers and things out of the way. So that's the 69. The door opens on that one. Small box shock towers. Yeah. And there's the one with the tree in it. <laughs> you get the motor, right? So you're right through it. Yep. Wow. Oh, that's a little tree. I can show you a bigger tree. So <laughs> <I did>. okay. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? <laughs> no, we haven't even got started yet. I'm almost <laughs> speechless. <laughs> Just because I know how hard you guys are going to have to work to get these things out. Uh, there's a wheel in there. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely left that out, Sean. Well, I purposely you put, I put it right back in there. Classic 83 uh, 280Z turbo. So we used to drive that. We need to spend a lot of time in that. Spend a lot of time in that. It's only a two seater. Yeah, it's only a two seater. That's the drive in the back. So he was getting thrown all over the world. Riding around this thing. These guys turned out just fine. <laughs> yeah. Firebird. Yep. 67 or 68? 68. How can you tell it's Because if it was 67, it would have the vent in. Oh, okay. Corner ball. Yep. Looks like it's had a quarter on it at one time. You can see where it was fixed and the bondoed, and then now that's being revealed again. We call that patina in Texas. Yeah. We call that. Uh, <laughs> 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 throw some clear on us, right? Yeah, wow. Throw some clear on that thing yeah. and you're done. <laughs> I like big wheels, disc brakes, and a motor. Yeah. It's all about the altitude, not the attitude. <laughs> yeah. I like how the corner light is the shape of is like, the a Pontiac logo. logo. Is that there, how there was a light. Yeah, Look. On the 68, they so had that's a cool marker there. light. Full Honda. Yeah, 600 probably. Oh, man, full cool fell on it. I think the board no, was the I think that one. actually um, it was pre flipped and then that was a good spot to store a basketball goal, so that's how that ended up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got another Mustang fastback to see. Yeah, we got another one down here. Um, another bus, a 70 bus, and a 74 442. <laughs> that's 
good too. Okay. Uh, fast back right there. Yeah. Big block shock towers or small block? We don't have time to get something like that out, but we can just get back out of the way. Decent walk going by. I think I have a headache. We could do a lot in one day, but I don't know if this is possible. All right, well, let's go see the uh, holy grail of your collection. All right. All right. So kind of how me and Dennis started talking. Um, you know, I knew we had this uh, this Camaro over here and uh, had some in local interest in it and took some pictures and um, went on a Facebook group and kind of posted them online and that kind of got the ball rolling. Um, where some people were like, oh, that's so cool. And other people were like, oh, you know, Rusty you should piece. be punched in the face for letting this happen. So, um, well, that's not very nice. Yeah, exactly. You know? I didn't say that. Yeah, exactly. I said, but, just uh, please take the post down and I'll buy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. The license plate? Nope. Know what that is? Look at that. That is cool. Never seen that. That's a piece of history right there, Sean. I'm gonna put that with the rest of my pieces of history. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn shame. You know how much that cost? Yeah, so how we got this one, um, and we pulled up to eat, and it was like 1989, so I was about six years old, and saw this car in the parking lot, and it was wrecked in the front end, and um, you know, wrote a note, was leaving it on the guy's windshield, and the guy comes out from eating while we're about to go in. And uh, yeah, we didn't get dinner that night, but we came home with the Camaro, so. So it good. actually ran, it last ran in 90. Yeah. So what we're looking at here, which is awesome, 1969 pace car convertible, but it is actually one of the festival cars, which there were 50 of. Right. So this car was actually at the track, on the track, and drove the dignitaries around and the, mm -hmm. the beauty queens and the celebrities, you know, like people like Sean. Wow, yep. there I was. And they, they were all optioned the same. They all had automatics because they didn't want people crashing them with a four speed. Because <laughs> we know what happened to so we won't go there. And they were all 350 <laughs> cars and not the 396s. Right. So these were there were 50. These were exactly the same. But this car was actually on the track, not racing. Wow. How cool is that? I'd be careful over the door because it might break in half. Yeah, probably. It's already broken half. Yeah. Just did you do it? Yes, I did. <laughs> Glad I brought you, Sean. Once again, it's locked. I think he locked all of the cars. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I do have the keys for this one. Well. I don't think it's going to do us any good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. This one's going to need a little more than a battery. Uh, and fresh gas. <laughs> well, this is going to take us all day to get this one out. He's off oh, the are negative you, you, morning, you look like you want to place a bet. <laughs> We're here for power of positive. Y'all can stay the rest sir. of the week, right? <laughs> hey, I had my blood test. You know what I am? Be positive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, you'd be here all day, won't you, Sean? <laughs> I was like, I thought for sure I was being negative. 400. Yep. Super cool. Gold on white. So this is going to be really cool. With a fancy ride. I like 72 GTOs. They're cool. It doesn't bother me. I know. I see, the, I see it. So I'm going with, uh, we have four cars that we're taking right here. Where's five and six? Well, we're definitely buying the pace car convertible. Yeah. The 70 GTO we saw that came, it was from Kerrville. Okay. There's two. There's two. Trans Am. Tra oh, 71 two Trans Am, Trans -Am. Yeah, for sure. Trees. GTO and Trans Am. And, I, and I, I, I actually, I like the 76 Trans Am because it would be the easiest thing to get out of here. 
Right. And I like the 65 Volkswagen bus because it looks like it will roll. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's five. We're probably gonna have to come visit you guys again. That's all right. Yeah. When we have more time. <laughs> yeah, we're here. And more horsepower. Yeah, and a record. So I could usually put a plan together pretty quick and I actually don't have one. How about you, Alex? Like I said, it went out the window. <laughs> all right, so we bought five. All right. We got the 69 pace car convertible. Bought the 70 GTO that was out of Texas. Okay. 71 Trans Am. 76 Starlight Black Trans Am. Awesome. SE, that. black on black. Probably the best condition car out there. And yeah. you know which one would I never leave here? Mustang. Volkswagen bus, a split window. Come on. I don't think we have room for the Mustangs. I like the Mustangs. We'll come back for another run, but okay. I bought five. I think we've got all work cut off. It's just to get, do those five. So I'll get in the back and ride with you guys. Are we having fun yet? James is going to get on the phone and try to find us either a big skid steer or a forklift. Um, I'm going to call a wrecker. And then me and Sean and Alex are going to go back and start dragging them with the Jeep and that to see what we can accomplish. Not sure what we're going to accomplish, but we're going to try. <laughs> Here we go. Well, this car looks like the easiest car to move. That's one of the reasons I bought it. But it's also a Starlight Black Trans Am. Which is very cool. So, another problem. All the cars out here, the doors are locked. <laughs> That's a big problem. That's handy. Just go right through there. A little bit of safety glass. I don't know about that. Wheel is tilted up. And I can't tell if it's peeling it. I don't think so. Hmm. All right. What'd you say? 525, 641. That's it. That's it? Yep. That's outstanding. Sweet. So the Trans Am has a title, which is great. <laughs> it's been since 1986. Awesome. How are you doing, Sean? Hey, be positive. He's good. Man. <laughs> yeah. I am officially be right. positive. <laughs> hey, what you got for the bus? Anything? Um, I have a 69 title, but it says two-seater on it, like 2S. And we have a dune buggy, so I'm assuming that's for that dune buggy. Okay. All right, fair enough. So if you yeah. don't mind grabbing the keys, Jake, we'll see if we can find the keys to this. Okay. Because it's locked. Yeah. <laughs> and Dennis also uh, found this in the pile of paperwork. So don't be mad at me. I'm not going to be mad at you. This is, uh, this is when he bought the car. It's a bill of sale. For this the, Trans Am? That and a parts car as well. <laughs> 91. No way. Yeah. So in 1991, your dad was a shrewd negotiator. He bought two 76 Trans Ams for $200. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm not a very good negotiator, Alex. <laughs> Keys in the ignition. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Now we're cooking with grease I'm or whatever fun they call now. it. Crisco. Crisco. Okay. Watch we're cooking out. with Crisco. Then. That was more fun. Did all four of them air up? Yep. These two aren't locked up. Really? Nope. Hey, you want some gloves? Yeah. Hmm. Got a long arm. There you go. There you go, Sean. How far is the closest hospital? Yeah, about 15 minutes. It's terrible reviews, but. <laughs> <laughs> so we couldn't get the black Trans Am out because the steering column's locked and it won't steer. So we've got a record coming out and that's how we're gonna get that one out, which is kind of a drag. We're failing on the 70 GTO. So didn't have any keys, the doors are locked. Again, the record's gonna come out with a Slim Jim, get the door open. So we're gonna start fighting the 71 Trans Am, which is probably the second hardest car to get out next to the pace car convertible. Okay, so we're gonna try to save as many trees as we can because I love trees. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna cut that one down, pull this Nissan out, cut these small saplings down, cut the tree to the left of the Trans Am and then drag it through here. That's the plan. Craftsman chainsaw, of course. 
nothing but the best. Shaker still there. 455HO. Looks like the carburetor may be off. Either that or the motor fell down. <laughs> but either way, we have two pluses on this car. The door's open and the key's in the ignition. It looks like the ignition's unlocked. This is crazy. We have outdone ourselves on this middle of nowhere find. Every piece is important on this car we want to save. All right, Sean P, I need some help. We're gonna have to get over there and cut a couple of these vines. Manual windows, which is good. The glue has deteriorated so much and all this windshield trim is just literally falling off the car. But we always say this trim is a lot better than the after one stuff. Get you some of that. This one. Literally threw it through the car. Is that the good news or the bad news? It's unlocked. It's unlocked and the car steers. But the car's stuck in gear. Still in park. In park. So drive shaft? I'm thinking we jack it up and put tires on it and maybe that, it. that cable might be all the way in the dirt. I think we drag it. Uh, let's see. If, let's, let's put tires on it. We brought them. They won't air up? Uh, we can try. Got some BFGs. Brand new set of BFGs. These, are not, these tires are not going to air up. The car's set too long. Stuck like Chuck. That it is. Now Alex just steal your line? I yeah. Did. There it goes. Outstanding. <laughs> the power of positive thinking. That doesn't happen often. No, it doesn't. There you go. Let me just go ahead and get you another wheel and tie rod. Can you put it on there too? Nope. Got it close though. And the lug nuts are in the other truck. Where do you guys want this thing? Uh, let's see. So we just yank it out to the street? <laughs> Think it's gonna roll? That truck didn't want to roll. I'm gonna go with it's gonna roll. Okay, I'm in for positive thinking. First round's on me, first round's on 1981. you. 1981. Oh, I'll buy either way. You know me. I'm easy. Let her rip, Alex, and see what happens. <laughs> That's a roller. It is a roller. That's awesome. It's rolling on that side. Yeah, it's rolling on this side, too. How's this for a field find, Sean? It's a forest find. <laughs> it is a forest find. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so there's 71 Trans Am is out. It looked to be one of the hardest ones. We had to cut down a bunch of trees to get it out, use the Jeep, changed all four wheels and tires. We were very fortunate that the brakes weren't locked up on that. All the wheels rolled. Took that one all the way out to the street. So we went from almost no equipment to a lot of equipment. James just showed up with the skid steer. He went and rented. He got a flatbed wrecker and a regular wrecker and a ram with the winch. I thought this was gonna take two solid days. I think we're gonna get this done today. It's about two o'clock. We started at eight. So we're not actually making very good time. Six hours to get the first car out. So we got four hours to get the next five out. So these two aired up. Alex got a power tank. We're gonna air the other two up so we won't drag this thing on the ground. This looks like a pretty good car, Alex. <laughs> I think so too. We're on a roll with survivors. So they're still trying to get the 70 GTO unlocked. It's turned out nothing's easy. And there's no keys to that car. And they're also working on moving the Trans Am. It's, the steering column is still locked in that. Meanwhile, we're going to take the skid steer and the Ram, Alex, James, Sean, me, Jake maybe is going to help, I'm not sure. But we're going to put a complete set of wheels and tires on the Camaro convertible and get it to where they can get the slide truck to it because it really needs to go on the back of the record. Yeah. So I think if we lift it up with a wheel lift, that car could break in half. But this is going to be the hardest one, so we're going to start on it right now. It's going to take a while. Those two, they can definitely get out with the record. I'm not worried about. So let's go fight this one, Alex. Actually, this has been parked since 1990, Alex. It's only been outside for 31 years. Oh, that's it? That's it. Pretty sure this one's not going to buff out. <laughs> So the 69 pace car convertible, which has been sitting here since 1990, uh, we're going to try to air it up, but we kind of brought a slide truck in, Paradise Towing, because we're afraid the car's going to break in half and we don't want to yank on it. <laughs> if it breaks in half, it might as well be stuck on his truck and not mine. <laughs> so, but no, we bought another set of wheels and tires. Once we get it up on here, we'll throw the floor jacks on it real quick. Alex got his tools. We'll have another set of wheels and tires on it. That'll help. We're gonna have to uh, pull the car this way. There's a bush under it about to hit. So let's just, when he hits the winds, we'll all just stand up here and just push the car that way. Pretty sure calling these guys out here was a good idea. <laughs> Probably the best idea we had this morning. <laughs> We're gonna jack it up with the wheels on real quick before he's dropping down. on it it will steer the plan is we're gonna bring it straight out there back up the PJ trailer winch that on there and it's probably gonna be on there next year yep. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get it off <laughs> did we do the same thing with the Porsche we did we actually have an enclosed trailer right now that's had a Jeep in it for over a year oh I forgot about that one <laughs> all right we got all four wheels I think the wheels are in the best shape of anything else on the car yeah Trim rigs are good, center caps are good. Yeah. Do you remember where the Volkswagen is? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, we may need the chainsaw. Maybe. Maybe we do. Okay. This is 1983. It's actually not too bad. Got a bullet hole up there. Probably full of thermite. That's a pretty cool patina. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised that this was here. Hello. 
And the steering's not locked, so that's good. Well, it also weighs nothing. I'm in the way. Lead, there's a lead. That's pretty cool. And it was not going to go over that stuff. <laughs> huh. And that's what that's we awesome. thought. That's what we thought we were going yeah. to pull over the stuff. That would have never worked. I think it's rock. I think it's rock for the core. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So three out of the four tires are up. That's great. Our average just today for tire pressure is up. Kind of like blood pressure. <laughs> How's your foot? Still kind of heavy. <laughs> That's a lot better plan than we had. Yeah, big time. <laughs> For sure. What do you think, Sean? I don't think we would have made it over the stump after all. I don't think we would have got it out. Small little hatchet and stump. I mean, that would be tough. We would have had to call out all the rest of the turbines. <laughs> wow, they like that. Got a bro hammer power seat. So you got couch bed. What was that like a sink or something that was there? I don't know. Huh. I think this was optional. Volkswagen's out, thanks to Sean's ingenuity. Craftsman. And an incredible wrecker. <laughs> Who knows how to use a boom? <laughs> Your guy's good. Yeah. Really, really good. So now we're going to get the black 76 Trans Am out. Starlight Black 404 speed car that I actually didn't know was here. I'm excited for that car. Very it? cool. Yeah, I didn't know the bus was here. We always buy the bus, it's in any condition. So we got one more to get out, and then we're gonna have to figure out how to get them all on the trailer. Pretty sure this man's gonna help us. <laughs> all right, well, we fought this one for a while in the uh, in the Trans Am one, right, Sean? Yeah. Steering wheel still locked. We didn't fix that problem. So we got air in the tires, and it's in neutral. I think. Yeah, put it in. Okay. Good to go. Both these are turning. And there goes car number five. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. We started at 8.30. Again, if we didn't have Paradise Wrecking out here, we would have never got this done today. It would take it a whole nother day. So, flatbed truck, big F450 wrecker with a boom on the back, which really came in handy to get the Volkswagen, as y'all saw. I don't think we would ever got that out. It was on top of two stumps and a skid loader. And here comes the Volkswagen. How cool is that? Now, I knew about three of these cars. Actually, I knew of about 30 of these cars, but the Black Trans Am and the Volkswagen bus were not on the list. So I'm not so sure he was really ready to sell those, but we bought them. Now we got to go get them on the trailer. And we still need Jimmy Douglas in Paradise <laughs> Towing. Because <laughs> two of the steering columns are locked, no keys, and that is a drag. Yeah. Real drag. The Volkswagen bus is still fighting us. It doesn't want to leave. No, it doesn't. <laughs> They're mad at us. They like it out here. Yeah, I'll tell you what. These cars don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. Yeah, I know. They're upset at you, Jake. Yeah, they are. They had to muscle these pretty hard. They did. <laughs> now I believe that you guys, after seeing how hard it is to get these things out, which you've done it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, trying to get a rollback going, for sure. Yeah, you guys yeah, got yeah. years of work. Yeah. You got to keep coming back with Jimmy, right? <laughs> That's yeah. true. <laughs> But we'll nip at it. We'll come back and get five at a time. Get maybe 20 or 25 of them out of here. All right. Let's go fight these out. So they always look rougher after we get them out of the field of the barn, oh don't they? Oh, God. Look at his car. Still a good fight, though. 71 trans in. You can't believe that. No, no, we'll bump them. I don't think it's going to bump out. It might. I'll tell you, we're really going to be glad you have this. Oh, yeah. Because we'll be working on the other one. <laughs> There's a lot of parts to use on this one. Yeah. Five thousand.
it's now 4.15, starting to the clock. Nobody's eaten yet, and Sean's the first person, he didn't complain, that realized that he was hungry about five minutes ago. The sun sets here at 4.30. We got about 15 more minutes. I know we're black. Can we do it? You have to. <laughs> 15 minutes, Alex. So, 1969 Camaro pace car convertible. One of the 50 festival cars. And for those of you who have the list, this is car 26, so it has been found. What a great find. She's a little rough, but I'm confident somebody will restore it. Split window VW bus. Can't buy enough of these. The market for them is always strong, easy to sell. I didn't know this was here. I definitely was not gonna leave without it, and we got it. Now, let's go check out some Pontiacs. Pretty cool looking load, Alex. It is. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? You know, probably the GTO. I like it too. Um, but you know, I don't know. Starlight Black 400 four speed Trans Ams, not bad. 71 Trans Am, pace car convertible, split window bus. I like them all. They're all good. All good. <laughs> 1971 Trans Am that has been sitting since 1981, according to the inspection sticker. Unbelievable. You know, one of 2,100 cars, one of about 1,200 automatics built. 1970 GTO. 400 manual transmission car, but very odd, it has a three-speed manual in it, which one of the 69s that we rescued in Houston had. So, 1970 GTO, looks like it's original paint, green. Again, there's a 400 car, three-speed manual for the factory, so we just put an automatic in it. On a straight car, the most solid one out of all of them. And this was a cool find today that I didn't know was here. Starlight Black, 1976 Trans Am. 400 four-speed car, great find. Uh, other than that quarter in this door, original paint, possibly a survivor car, but a great find. I mean, 400 four-speed black Trans Am, you gotta love that. So we've been here since we started at eight o'clock this morning. It is right now, right at 4.30. You can see the sun is actually going down. We're done. I got one more question for you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Favorite place to eat? Oh, it's got to be Camelback Brewing Company. Okay. Yep. So uh, got some good beers, good wings, you know, good burgers, so all the fun stuff. So well, none of us have eaten today, so I'm sure everybody's <laughs> yeah, starving. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna go back, shower, get cleaned up. If you guys want to meet us there, we'll buy dinner for you. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Pleasure thank you. Yeah, pleasure thank you. Guys. Pleasure. Thank Thanks you for all the help. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And we'll good be time. back. Nice to meet you. Come Zach. back again, <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. Thanks again yeah. for all your help. Anytime. No way we could have done this without this guy right yeah. here. Nice That's meet. the muscle right there. It's nice to meet you. You too, sir. Have a great day. All right, Sean, Camelback Brewery. Steak, wings, and beer. I'm in. You in for that? I'm down with that. All right, so we'll go to the hotel, get cleaned up, and go eat. Right. See you at the brewery. Get both. Get both. Yeah. It's the worst thing to happen. <laughs> you can 
Or I don't eat at all. What would you like on your burger? Um, just lettuce, cheese. Pretty simple. Meat taters. I'm going to do the burger. Okay. Everything on it, including hot No No uh, Yes. Every, everything that you got listed there. Do you want anything extra added to it? No. Then I'll do the uh, burger. Uh, just meat, cheese, lettuce with, with the french fries on the side. I'll do the burger as well later then. I don't know what happened to the this year. Hot bacon beer cheese. Uh, we'll get another table. Can we get another table? Like, clean off another table? Yeah, absolutely. So, so we can, uh, yeah. Beer cheese? That looks good. Those are good. Pomato cheese looks great. I love pomato cheese. I love pomato cheese, man. It's so good. Let's try the beer cheese. I'm only single dip on each side. It's good. Very tasty. Thumbs up for everybody. Alright, so far what we have beer cheese with ground beef in it. Loaded nachos. Just look, look at what show the cheese fries. The pimento cheese is really, really good. Looks super fresh. Zach, what you got, Sean? Chicken tender? There you go. I think this is yours. <laughs> oh, is it mine? <laughs> Here, I'll trade you. You want cheese fries or Thank you. fries fries? Nope. Yeah, I have a game for now. Alright. This is one of the all the way around. Looks like it's got everything on it. Outstanding. Come to the release. Look at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Crispy french fries. So crispy and broke. Anybody need ranch? There's lots There's of steak burger there. there, Sean. I'm waiting. Would uh, you like me to wait for you? Oh, yeah, that was that. Cheeseburgers, bacon. Bacon. Tomato. Oh, no tomato. One loaded up. Yeah. If it's all of it, it's right here. Alright, this is our burger with no tomatoes. Alright. Haha, <laughs> weirdo. I have another one. There I was. Yeah, right here. Check it out, Zach. Thank you. That is a work of art. Beautiful. Yeah. They're both really good, I'm telling you. You got it? Yeah, when you have a chance. You got it? You have a chance to have a knife and fork. God, what is that thing? Holy crap. This is what. Sean's going to take you out to eat all that. Man, that's a good looking sandwich. I know. Uh, I might pass on the burger. I think you should have, I think you should have stuck with your initial uh, I know. choice. Uh, wow, that looks good. Right. Turn that around so Zach can see it. Uh, <laughs> that's a sandwich. The presentation is amazing. Man. Wow. It really is. Okay. I want one of those. Who wants half of them? Not really. I might. That's really? a big one. I have. You, 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 you didn't get anything on yours. That's not fair. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to fix this thing. <laughs> you smushed all your stuff out of it. There's so much in there. We need to smush. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, look at all that. Good burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either that or you got to get us more beer. It is hot. Thumbs up. Absolutely. <laughs> good call, Jake. Thank you, sir. Yeah. They got really good food here. I mean, I like it. You know, good beer. So. All right. I think Sean's going to win Best Buy. How is it? Oh, it's amazing. Sourdough bread, marinated chicken. And this is by far amazing. By far amazing. I'm going to have a bite of that. How about Burger's killer. Wow. Solid. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Mm. Get it, Alex. That's good.